It's been a long time since Jasmine Howe has been in wrestling evolution, and tonight I make my return against Leah Knight. Now, Leah, I know you've danced around the ring with a lot of girls, but tonight you step in the ring with me. We're going to go blow for blow. We're going to tear each other apart, and most importantly, I want you to give me your best. I want you to hit me harder than you've ever hit anybody, because I'm damn sure going to do it to you. We're going to have a battle tonight and I'm going to show you why they call me the dragon of malice. It has been an awful long time but your boy Gabriel Kai is back at Wrestling Evolution and tonight I get to go up against Tommy Okami. It doesn't matter how tonight goes he's the first step because I was never supposed to be the guy. But now that I'm back in Wrestling Evolution, I only have one goal in mind, and it's to be the guy. Jasmine Howe and the rest of you disagreeable lowlifes are going to be so upset tonight when I am left standing tall in the ring and Leah Knight slays the dragon and shines the brightest. All right, welcome here to ringside for Wrestling Evolution Aggression. I'm Tim Dixon alongside Ivan M. Righteous. And we see earlier today, the legacy champion, Mason Allen, arriving at the building, trailed by Justin Kindred Allen. He's faced the challenge after challenge here in Wrestling Evolution and never tasted defeat. Tonight, the blue chipper, Chase Emery, comes in to try and stop the Allen Express. And in a rematch, Tim, we've got uh, from the finals of the Evolution Cup, Dante Khalifa is going to be taking on the Cream Pie Poppy. And in women's action, we'll have Leah Knight taking on Jasmine Howe. And the most important thing tonight, we're going to hear and see from the greatest boss in the history of pro wrestling, the Mr. Wilcox. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. And we're starting off tonight with Tommy Okami making his way to the ring right now, and he will face off with Gabriel Kai. Do you think he'll notice I'm wearing the shirt? I'm sure you'll make sure he does, huh? And we see Tommy Okami making his way, ignoring you. That's nice. Oh, and Tommy Django is uh, right here with him. And These guys love me. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. they love to write. Wait, boy. Okay. I, uh, I don't need this kind of static. These, I've, these guys have – I've had my issues with these guys. Oh, oh, oh I know. They, they, I know. They tried to kill me, honestly. Well, I, I'm just asking questions. What did That's we all. learn? What did we learn from that? Stay away from Tommy Django. No. And Tommy Okami. No. That's avoid, what I learned. Avoid subject matter of the shiny, shiny. Yeah, he does. He does tend to uh, get a little angry when the shiny, shiny is made. No, 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 don't, don't. I, well, that's twice. I know. I know. This is like Beetlejuice. You said three exactly. times. All of a sudden, Tommy is going to pop up next to me. All right, here comes Gabriel Kai making his return to Wrestling Evolution. And his opponent. Wow. Coming to us from South Central Tokyo, Japan. That's a whole lot of beef right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pounds. Holy Gabriel smoke. Kai. He almost ended up in my lap. It's not, it's not cool. I didn't like Everybody that. ends up in your lap. I know, yeah. Justin Kindred Allen, Gabriel Kai. Thankfully, thankfully it was just close to ending up in my lap. There's Dave Gabriel Kai set to take on Tommy Okami in, in singles action. However, Chief Django is out here. So I'm sure uh, we're going to see a little extracurricular activity. All right, well, what do you mean? Oh, you know what I mean. No, no, no. Tell me what you mean. Don't beat around the bush now. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I want them to not try to kill me. Is that too much to ask? Well, I told you how to keep that from happening. 
Oh, wow. This crowd that used to always be for Tommy Okami is now chanting, Tommy sucks. I'm disgusted. I am disgusted. Takes me back what, to... If Gabriel's uh, kind of relaxing there. Takes me back to what I'm saying about Don Furio. As long as he's on top, as long as he has the title, oh, they love you. You're the Cinderella. But the minute that you lose it and the minute that you change your point of view, well, Tommy sucks. Tommy sucks. Well, I mean, I don't think it's the point of view that's the problem. It's the uh, the actions that he's been uh, he's been doing over the last couple of months. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, I think that was like Kamehameha there. Yeah, yeah, the Dragon Ball. It's, it's anime. Hadouken. <laughs> Ayo right, Kami off of the ropes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Gabriel likes to have a little yeah. fun in there. I, that's, Take that that's shirt cool. off, regroup. Take the shirt off and regroup. That's what I'd do. If I was yeah, wrestling. I, yeah, you wouldn't do that. You would probably fall down crying. Now Kami off the ropes again. And again, nothing. It's a stalemate. Oh, he's a, oh, oh, the hair is coming down. Headband's oh. off. Now he means business. It's like the singler. Oh. Well, he's not wearing Pull it. Pull it down. Pull it down. You know what that means. Oh. Gabriel Kai's doing some kind of like uh, breathing exercises. Oh, boy. What oh. did he just call him? Oh, Kami is upset. You right, shouldn't call him something like that while his mom is here. Now, which you can go and see at the merchandise table. That is true. Tommy, uh, uh, Chief Django up on the uh, ring apron, trying to give a little advice to Akami. <laughs> Brothers watching each other's backs. That's what this is all and about. And that is what they call themselves. It's, uh, it's family. Okami, Chief Django, and Chase Coleman are now calling themselves a family. Much right. to the... Uh, Chagrin of Chase's real father, Caprice Coleman. <laughs> now, Kami now locking in that side headlock, but Gabriel cried, uh, Kai trying to uh, force his way out of it. Sends Okami off the ropes. And again, like you said, that's a lot of beef. That was not supposed to happen like that. And yet it did. Hey, Chief Django says that was illegal. Ah, I need to check my rule book. Oh! Up into the rafters. And uh, Gabriel Kai bringing him off. And that shoulder block worked a whole lot better than Okami's. Holy smokes. He's now back into the corner. Uh oh. This Pay attention. Be bad. Oh, well, that didn't work. And again, is. Chief Django working dividends there. Gabriel Kai bringing him out. Incredible strength. Okami in the center of the ring. Crowd chanting for one more time. No, no, no. Gabriel Kai off the ropes. Up, oh, Django grabbed the leg. What? And Harky didn't see it. I didn't either. What, he did what? Uh, you, I'm sure. Oh, nobody home for Kai on that splash. <laughs> now this is where Okami's got him. You let him do what he's going to do, and then you take advantage of him. Then momentum has changed here in the match with the help of uh, Chief Django from the outside. Tommy Okami oh. taking control of this match. Holy smokes. Oh, he slammed him back with all the fury he could muster. No, fury's not here tonight. You know what I mean. Okami oh, being forced back into the corner. Kai oh. just firing shots into the ribs there. It's got open, hard on the open hand strikes. Oh, Okami out of the way. And Kai just slammed into that turnbuckle. Ooh. Short clotheslines, just clubbing. It's kind of a mixture between a clothesline and a clubbing forearm. Taking the winds out of the sails right yep. here. Charging in, but 
Kai with know. the elbow. Nope. Oh, Okami with a nice suplex. Did you see that? Absolutely, I loved it. You know I love a good suplex. And here's a cover. Mm, you gotta hold him down just a little bit longer, Okami. Yep, gotta get to the three count, and that was not it. According to John Harkin. Well, he don't like him either, did he? Look, he's award-winning referee. Really? I'm telling you, yeah. It was like uh, Southern Living Magazine or something like that. Some, somebody gave him an award. Now, Okami going for that suplex again. Kai stalling. Oh, now he got it. Nice vertical suplex. Okami showing a lot of new moves in his arsenal. Inco and incorporating a, a lot of suplexes, but he's calling for an old favorite here. This is his uh, second rope elbow. Oh, Perched on the second smoke. rope out in the middle of the ring. And here he comes, but Kai saw it coming, maybe taking a little too much time. Kai able to roll his way out, out of the way. Oh. And again, the momentum Maybe changing again in this match. Gabriel Kai in control. Oh, sharp succession of strikes. Ooh, ooh, I'm glad he stopped that, man. But a block. That could have been bad. Oh! And here's a cover. Come on. This is tearing my nerves up. Are you okay? I am. I'm here. Come on, Okami. It's okay. Unbiased journalism. Oh, yeah, At I hear this. And it's best, yeah. Okami trying to make his way to his feet in the corner. Kai waiting on him. He got, got a little bit of a, yeah, he got a little bit. Oh, the ring move. I think the he's in move. a frenzy, man. He is. Look at the crazy ass on that one. Oh, and again, the ring move. I don't like it. I need to move back. He is, he's stumbled and staggered Okami. Yeah, Okami <laughs> definitely looks up. There Staggered is. there in the corner, and here comes Kai again. Oh, but Tommy met him as he was coming in with a big spear. Come on, one, one, two. Uh, not quite able to get a three count. Well, the award was obviously not in counting. Well, all right, was it basket weaving or something? I don't know. Uh, Southern Living. Designated sorry. driver for Josh Cash? Oh, yeah, we definitely need one of those. He's got one of those little things that you have to blow in before you can drive. Yeah. Yeah, it's just bad. Right. <laughs> Sorry, we don't want to get off in the that car never starts. Yeah, I know, yeah. No, oh, Kai with a big oh. fall away slam. Across the ring, my lord, yeah. Okami looks out. Okami. Oh, I've never seen this before. He's struggling to get to his feet, and here come the crazy eyes from Gabriel Kai. Reversing. Up, oh, and he got the rafters. Now he's up in the rafters, fighting off Okami. Up, oh, he kicked him in his face, kicked him in his chest. Oh, massive power bomb from the rafters. He is done. He's got to be done. One, two. Oh. What? What? He kicked out out of that massive power bomb from the rafters. Okami. Oh, Okami can't believe it. Hit him really, really hard. Oh, and um, that sounds like sound advice. That was good advice hit from, uh, really, from really Chief Django. Hit him really, really hard. That uh, makes sense to me. That's what I would do. Yeah. All right, Okami coming. Oh, Kai caught him and reversed it into a cutter. And again, that fall away slam. And here's a cover. And Django up on the... Django up on the ring apron, interrupting John Harkey. And Gabriel Kai is upset. Oh, he's got Django. Crowd rabbit. Yeah, they are. They're pretty upset too. But he's got Django. But here comes Tommy Okami. Oh, oh and a roll up. 
Kai has him in a roll up. No, no, no! And he got him. Here's your winner, Gabriel Kai. Gabriel Kai taking advantage of the misdirection between Okami and Django, getting a quick roll up victory. And look at Tommy Okami. He looks shocked. He looks absolutely shocked. And I think this is not going to be good for somebody, but the way uh, Okami has been, the way Okami has been uh, reacting to losses lately, this is not going to be good for anybody. Award winning referee for fast count. That seemed like a normal count to me. Uh, the How do we do? We want to talk about uh, Django being up on the ring apron and interrupting that count. What are you talking about? Exactly. And earlier today, you had a chance to talk to Dante Khalifa. So let's take a look at that. Wrestling Evolution fans, we are gathered here with the Dante Khalifa. Now. Dante, I have to come at you kind of, I really don't want to do this because of the loss that you took the last time that we gathered here. The loss that I took? Dante Khalifa don't take no losses, Ivan. Mean, what are you talking about? As far as I'm concerned, Rayhan Artez, you was an inanimate object last time we were in the ring, and I should be the inaugural cup winner. What the, loss? The Khalifa don't take no losses, but I am the one that dishes them out. Rayhan, tonight, I shut you down. Loss. I haven't get it right, man. Dude, I'm just doing my job. All right, here we go. We are set for women's action. Leah Knight making her return to Wrestling Evolution. It's a night of returns. I like this lady. Oh, yeah, she means business. She absolutely means business. Leah Knight making her way to the ring. Making her return to Wrestling Evolution from Tacoma, Washington. This is Leah Knight. Well, if I could coin a phrase. Oh, she's trying to steal hats. Oh, she got a propeller hat. Business is about to pick up. Oh, yeah. I th oh, wow. That was a. Uh, she, uh, uh, like you, I think you guys will get along. She is not a uh, fan of the Propeller Hat Posse either. Because Jasmine Howe is a member of the OG squad. So. Shenanigans. Te technically, she is, I guess, part of the Pro Go Propeller Hat Posse. I, it's so hard to say. Shenanigans. Yeah, there will be shenanigans. But I think the shenanigans that we're going to see is just a hard hitting match. Denver, rise to your feet and welcome back, representing the OGs, Jasmine Howe! Representing the OGs. Yeah, I told you, I just said that. Do you not listen to me? I mean, uh, like, is it, when you say OGs, is it the announce table of Waylon Dowd and the natural Bob, whatever his name is? It's Jasmine Howe. She's right here. But... She's part of the OG squad. Mm. Oh, Leah Knight trying to, trying to get things started a little early, but referee Charles Fuller. Uh, referee Charles Fuller with the uh, action tonight, keeping everybody in line. Fresh off of his 13th birthday. Really? Yeah. He's a big boy. Wait a minute, I think puberty's getting ready to hit him. Oh boy, we don't need that. He's got the most wonderful mullet I've ever seen oh, in my that life. Is, that's the sweet Tennessee waterfall. The sweet Tennessee waterfall? That's right, yeah. Oh, here we go. Now, Knight and Howe tying up in the center of the ring. Knight getting uh, control of this and pushing Howe back into the corner. Mm -hmm. These two know each other. They have fought before. Not here in Wrestling Evolution. Yeah. But, but they do know each other well. And like I said, this is going to be a fight. Oh. 
She almost clotheslined her out of her boots. Yep. I'm sure you're enjoying this. Oh, Jasmine out very quickly, moving out of the way. No, I don't like that. Oh, those sharp kicks to Leah Knight. Bringing her out of the corner with a bulldog. Jasmine Howe in control of this match early. Knight able to move out of the way. Smart, smart lady. Oh, yeah. She laid there, got her into the false security, and then boom, she moved. Yep. Oh, well, that wasn't oh. nice. And Leah Knight looks out. And Howe brings her over. And here's a cover. Oh, and drop. Yeah, nice Samoan drop. Unable to get a three count, however. Oh, oh. I want you to know, as from somebody who's been put in that exact move, along with the figure four multiple times by my mean ass sister. Oh, yeah. That's hurt. That hurts. I was about to say, oh. Ooh. But Leah Knight able to reverse it, sending Howe through the ropes. Ooh. You can see her nursing that uh, that ankle. She had the pressure on for a long time, ducks the clothesline. Oh, and again, the strikes from the Dragon of Malice wearing out Leah Knight. Oh, missed on that one. Uh oh, oh. What? oh. oh. Leah Knight folks depositing her right on the ring apron, face first. I, I mean, Fuller's down there checking, I hope. She get a withdrawal? She, she may be out. We need to check and make sure. Oh, Knight bringing her up and sending her into the ring post. Again, Knight, oh, into the guardrail. Jasmine Al is taking a beating out there. I'm going to go ahead and say this now. Oh, if you think go. that you are coming to Wrestling Evolution and, and you are just a pretty face, these women will show you different. Yeah, certainly. I mean, there. Oh, oh. Draping her over the guardrail. Jasmine House completely on the outside now. She's done. She's done. Oh, oh, oh. oh, axe kick right across the back of the head of Howe, bringing her back in. Well, you get a little extra for a front row seat here. Absolutely, you do. You might have Jasmine Al in your uh, in your lap. And Leah Knight rolls back in and breaks the count. Again, very smart. She knows what she can do. She knows what she can get away with. Sending Howe back into the ring. Look, these ladies that we have on the show, they are definitely next level. I mean, they are not, it's just not like a, a pretty contest. Well, if I, may, contest. if I may say, every performer we have, male or female, with the exception of one announcer I could think of, is always top notch. I'm just saying. Why would you talk about Chris Rogers like that? That's not who I meant, but okay. I'm just saying. Wilcox will do a, a performance review. You gotta watch for this. They're rough. I have. I have. Yeah, it's rough. I, I, oh, I know. Now, Leah Knight with How back in the corner, just continuing the punishment that she started with her, uh, with, I dare I say it, shenanigans outside the ring. Now, off of the ropes. Oh! A face wash right there in the turnbuckle. Ooh. Oh. And gloating, gloating over the crowd. How rolling out. Yeah. Jasmine Howe looks, well, I was going to say she looked like she was out. But there's still some life left in her. She's running on instinct. She's got to be running on instinct, Dixon. Yeah, but that's still, uh, still instinct. She has those instincts. Here's a cover. Only got a two count. Out, Kinda trying to fast. shake the. She's trying to shake the cobwebs. Let's not get into the whole fast count. Uh, well, that's the only thing I got right now. Oh, I know. Now Jasmine into the corner, big splash on Leah Knight. Now off of the ropes, and a big 
flying forearm. Nice suplex. And Jasmine Howe is in control. Oh. Not quite over yet. Jasmine Howe back to her feet. And we. I know I wouldn't want to be in the ring with either one of these ladies, is all I'm saying. Absolutely not. I'm not that tough. And another suplex. I mean, I can be tough when I have to be. Can you, though? Heck yeah. How up to the, she's up to the uh, second rope. Coming off, but uh, Knight caught her, Knight spin out, power bomb. Whoa. Whoa. How, how maybe took uh, just a little too much time up there playing to the crowd before she came off on the night. Leah Knight back to her feet. Setting up for a suplex. How reverses. Oh, oh, sharp forearm. And a German suplex release. I watched Here's the a cover. taste leave her mouth. It's just ow. <laughs> the taste right out of there. Yes. I've never seen that. And usually that's a, a slap that does that, but that was a forearm. <laughs> <laughs> It was definitely taste. May have been some teeth, too. Maybe. 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 And Jasmine Howe back in the corner. And Leah Knight yeah. shoving uh, yeah. Charles Fuller around. Be nice to that boy. He's got to go home. He's got homework. Now Howe with kicks, pushing Knight back. Now she's up on the second rope. Holy smokes. You okay? All right, here we go. Here's a cover. And that's it. Jasmine Howe with the victory. Winner, Jasmine Howe. Okay, okay. She, she worked for that one. Yes, she did. The Dragon of Malice with the victory here over Leah Knight. Shenanigans. All right, as Jasmine Howe celebrates her victory earlier today, I had a chance to have a word with Mason Allen and Justin Kindred Allen. All right, fans, now I'm joined by the legacy champion, Mason Allen, along with Justin Kindred Allen. And tonight you face Chase Emery for your legacy championship. And you're on an incredible win streak with the legacy championship. But I have to say that a lot of those wins have come with the help of Justin Kindred Allen. And honestly, pretty recently, Justin hasn't been treated that well. Tim, do you really believe that, what you just said? Yeah, actually I do. Justin is Mama Allen's favorite son. We know that. So how could he be treated bad? Mama loves him. J Justin, Justin, do you feel like you're being treated bad? Do you feel like you're being treated, being neglected maybe? Yeah, yeah. See, Tim, he's fine. He's a yes man. He loves being in Allentown. He belongs in Allentown. Justin, not now. I have business to handle. Camera right here, cut him out, okay? Tonight, Chase Emery. I want to tell you right now that I'm not worried because it's going to be the challenge of seeing how many body slams I can take and get up from, and it's a million and two. I can get up from every single one, but I know that you're going to stay down. I know that I'm going to put you down and keep you down because I take down guys every week that are steps above. Tonight you're coming into Allentown. You're challenging for my championship. It's time for you to step up to the plate. And here he comes. Here's the boss. Oh, oh, oh hold on. I got to stand up now. I do what I'm told. He'll even notice the t-shirt standing out in the sea of sure. humanity. Hey, he's got a little, he's got a little else going on here. I don't think he's worried about your shirt. It's time for the State of the Evolution Address. CEO Tim Wilcox, sit down. I will, I have to, I have to show appreciation. Got to do the bowing thing, because you know, this is the greatest boss in the world, man. Okay, sit down. Jealous. Get out the money, bro. All right. Get out the 
CEO Tim Wilcox. Oh, oh God, he's got a podium, for God's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> of course he does. That's the state of evolution. Oh, this is ridiculous. How is it ridiculous? He's got everything prepared, I guess. I don't want to use the phrase delusions of grandeur. It is good to see all your ugly faces tonight. Well, he's seeing some of them. Especially... Well... Hey! Security! That lady right there didn't get a bag! Oh, jeez. So now we're going to find out who the lady is. <laughs> Make sure the she gets a bag! The one that's been offending him this whole bag. time. The one right there in the yellow. You know oh, what? Geez. Make it two. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on. And give one to the kid, too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. All right, so uh, we've got some people that are wearing the bags and... Uh, Look, it's hard to do these state right of the whatever. State of the evolution. Uh, state of the evolution. Being distracted. Now, anybody so, that got a bag, you know. you, some people are smart. They're supposed to put them on. If you don't know how because you're stupid, you open it up like this. Oh, oh, can I and show you them? Put it on can I show like them? Like this. All right, Chris Rogers gets one. That's a collectible. Oh, it is. It's signed. It's signed. Is it numbered? Probably. Oh, I need to get my hard case. Now let me start the 2024 state of the evolution address. Dear, ugly, uglier, and ugliest fans of wrestling evolution. I present to you the 2024 State of the Evolution Address. And it is with great pleasure that I stand before you. Not because you paid your hard-earned money to be here tonight, but more so because the select few of you have accepted my token of appreciation and have covered up and prevented me from having to look upon your unattractive, ill-favored, hideous, displeasing, horrible, disgusting, grotesque, awful, repulsive, homely, Repugnant, what? dreadful, what? abominable, what? 13, revolting, what? 14, distasteful, 15, horrid, 16, what? nasty, what? unappealing, what? nauseating, what? dislikable, 20, gruesome, what? 21, nightmarish. What? Oh, this man could go all night long. As plain as Pike Staff. Unlovely, oh, disagreeable, what if start over? appalling, what? foul, what? vile, what? reprehensible, Did somebody get a rotten, for Christmas? offensive, what? detestable, what? huckery, what? sickening, what? loathsome, what? atrocious, what? unhandsome, what? unpretty, Ugly as sin. He's the water. He's got to be running dry. Faces. Oh, man. That took a while to stick the landing. He is very, very descriptive. Yes. And, and uh, look, he's proven right here. He can go all night long. He's a man's man. That's uh, like I said. Hold the applause. <laughs> 
Shut your mouth, punk! Now, let me tell you about some of the good stuff. The Ascension contract will be in December, but only one qualifier match, unlike last year, will be one qualifying match in November. That will be Grant Watts versus the debuting Alex Bryan. I'm excited for that. The other participants will be done via a blind draw the night of December, excuse me, 6th. All right, so recently we've had a slew of snack references in this company. The cream pie poppy. Oh, come on. The fudge round father. Oh, yeah. That's D. We had the ding dong daddy. <laughs> but I personally, I associate with Swiss rolls. <laughs> because like Switzerland, I have always been neutral and fair. I, I mean, Tim, I've never seen more ding dongs in Go a ring. Go ahead, security. That, Pass that these night. out. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I'll take that. Huh? Come on. Now, speaking of the cream pie poppy. <laughs> I want one of those. Those are good. I took exception I Swiss roll. to old Ray Hahn on Teus for winning the Evolution Cup and thus defeating Put your hand my pick, I won't Dante, watch. excuse me, the Dante Khalifa. And he put some stank on it. He corrected it, he and that he match, put the stank on it. That ending, that victory by him was a fluke, and thus Dante is going to get his rematch tonight and prove all the doubters wrong that he is the future of this company. And finally, let me address the Tag Team Championship. The OGs, some of your guys' fan favorites. The party starter, Keith Mack. The nerd, Stu. They've had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity handed them. It'll be the last time you ever see them tag. It'll be the last time you ever get to see them in wrestling evolution. Because why? Because I'm a giving man. I've always been a giving man, and it'll bring me utter joy to give them their walking papers and rid wrestling evolution of them forever. You want to know why? Because I am the CEO, and I am the damn boss. He is. Wow, emphatically. Yeah. My music. Oh, sit down. All right. Tim Wilcox with the State of the Evolution address here. Going uh, over several things, but ending with a bang with his prediction that next week on uh, Aggression, we see the end of the other guys. Yeah, yes, yes. And that made me, that's when I stood up and I did like that. I gave him the, the applause that the House of Representatives would give any of the great presidents in the history of the United States. Sure. All right, here he comes. Oh, and there's a, there's a, a collectible for our security guy here. Oh, well, you better keep it on. He's serious about that. When he gives you a gift, you better wear it. He tore it up. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Brady Owens here, owner of WSN, here to tell you that if you were bored, then go to your Roku, Fire Stick, Amazon Fire, or Apple TV, and download the WSN app on the WSN app. We have all kinds of wrestling content, including our live stream, 
We had some incredible specials and wrestling movies, movies with wrestlers, and we had new arrivals, new arrivals almost every other week of incredible content. We have the WSN Top Picks, some of the best stuff we have picked by yours truly and the rest of the WSN team. We have premium live events. We have wrestling bloodiest battles. Documentaries, which is one of our top, our, our, our most viewed sections. Weekly reality shows, TNA specials. We have CCW Alive. We have wrestling cartoons for the kids. We have more wrestling reality shows. Women of Wrestling showing support. Wrestling Spotlight video games. MAW Warriors biographies. Some incredible wrestling biographies. We have wrestling specials. WSN 2K Proving Ground. Downtime in the Ring, one of the best podcasts out there. Red Figure Wrestling, whether it's collections or action figures, wrestling game shows. We have Traveling the Indies, Independent Wrestling, Wrestling Interviews, Wrestling Talk Shows. And an MMA section for all you MMA fans. Download the WSN app today, cure your boredom, and dive into a world of wrestling. All right, fans, now I'm here with Chase Emery, who has a little bit of history here in Wrestling Evolution and with the Legacy Championship specifically. You were in the first five-way elimination match to crown the first Legacy Champion, and now you're coming in to face Mason Allen for the Legacy Championship, and he has held it for eight months and is undefeated here in Wrestling Evolution. How do you plan to take that title off of Mason Allen? Well, Tim, it feels great to be back. It's been a long time since I've been here, right here in Denver, North Carolina. And I got to say, Mason Allen, he's been on a roll. He's beating people left and right. You know, he's wearing that belt proudly. But, Mason, tonight I'm coming to dethrone you. I'm coming to take you out. At one point you were humble, but now I hear you becoming a cocky little prick. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to teach you a lesson. And that lesson is how to be humble. Here we go, a rematch from the Evolution Cup Final. Because uh, Dante claims that uh, somebody cheated. Use a, he did to use a foreign object. The cream pie from is not. From Charlotte, North Carolina, this is your contract ascension winner, the Dante Khalifa. Oh, she put some steak on Ooh. it. Our guest uh, ring oh. announcer, oh. Erica from Second Time. Oh, wait a minute, Roman. He don't like the steak. He don't like oh, that he steak. Like he don't like that steak. Uh, Dante Khalifa making her do Your it again. Contract Ascension winner, the Dante Khalifa. Now, that was some steak. Oh. That was some steak. That was some steak. That was some steak. That was some steak. Yeah, that was pretty good. I want to say it one more time. For the viewers at home, that was some stank. Hold, hold, oh, 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 oh. He ain't got no time for you. And there he is, the Ascension contract winner. Unfortunately, he did not win the Evolution Cup. Dante Khalifa! Oh, is she there? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You about to get fired on your first day. How about it? Oh. Hey, look here. I am the Dante Khalifa. Oh. You say it right. That's the stake. That's the stake right there. All right, here she goes. She's going to try it again. I thought she was going to try it again. What? Oh, but it's time for the cream what? pie poppy. What? He was cut off. The man was cut off. Oh, here they come. There's the cream pies. Carnary in a box. From Atlanta, that Georgia. Yeah, that's true. A lot of cars, man. 75 pounds. The cream pie poppy. Rayhan Antia. Rayhan 
Monteus making his way around the ring. <laughs> The Cream Pie Poppy is here. He is the Evolution Cup tournament winner and the number one contender for the Wrestling Evolution Championship. This is a rematch from the finals. We saw Dante Khalifa and Rayhan Anteus clash in the tournament finals. Wow, he's giving out like whole boxes. Or that, maybe that guy brought his own. I don't know. All right. Oh, oh fudge round. Oh. Nice. Yes. Yes. I, I mean, I'll use that later. And there they come. It's raining cream pies here at Wrestling Evolution. Yeah. Josh Cash through an alcoholic haze trying to clean the Oatmeal cream pies out of the uh, out of the ring. Oh, and I but I don't think I don't think that's all he's going to come up with. What else Dante is Dante is the uh, fudge round. Oh, that's a what? lot. What? Dante is the fudge round father. He gave you a fudge round. I didn't get one. Well, that's because you don't put no stank on it. Or I you don't did. put the stank, I do too. The, the proper amount of stank. Oh, whoa, one got sent back in. Whoa. You don't really usually see them. Oh, he's trying to get them in the, uh, in the bag, the Wilcox bags. Nice. Mr. Wilcox is not going to like this. Hey, well, they got to carry him in something. Yeah. Oh, now he was on to box two. Uh oh, nope. Oh, oh, yeah. Dante. Dante's had enough. He does He's not like had that. enough. He's not one to stand for shenanigans uh, or baloney. Yep. Because the Dante Khalifa don't stand for baloney, but he does stand for fudge rounds. Of He's got he does. one. Of course he does. Of course he does. You're the fudge round father, that's right. The superior snack cake, i got to say. I, I do like fudge rounds better than I do oatmeal cream pies. Oh, he's wanting, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. What? Oh. Holy smokes. Like a, That was like an old school oh. duel. He yeah, like, I challenge you to a duel. Oh, boy. Oh, red alert. Dante oh. moved ooh, out of the way right ooh. quick. Rayhan's got no, no, him, though, no. in the ooh, corner. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's lightning oh. quick tonight now. These two reversing back and forth. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's going to take it out. Yeah. Dante just raking the eyes of Rayhan Anteus. Now firing shots in. Rayhan sending him off. And a big boot as he charged in. Come on, Dante. Come on, man. We saw an instant classic between these two in the tournament final. And you know it's going to be a, another one tonight. These two facing off, two of the brightest stars in Wrestling Evolution. Is he asking for a chop? Oh, no. Oh! Now, I'd say he put some stank on that one. Wouldn't you agree? Hurtful and hateful, Dixon. Hurtful and hurtful hateful. And hateful. Yeah, so was that chop. It looks like there's another one incoming. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. He's going to, Rayon's going to give him. Oh, couldn't quite do it. That, that chop has taken it all out of Dante. Not so much. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, He's no, going no. For, he was going for the stank Ofa. Up. Rayhan. Uh-oh. Oh! No. What? It was just like a, a fall down senton. So unorthodox. Yeah. Well, that's Rayhan Anteus. Dante's out to the outside. You got to take a breather. You got to take a breather. Clutching on the security out there. Rayhan is chasing him out there, but Dante caught him. Slamming his back into the uh, into the ring apron. Oh! 
Fired up a chop, but Rayon got out of the way. Check his hand. Check his hand. Yeah, it could be broken. Oh, no, not right there in front of the propeller hat. Posse, come on. Again, like we were saying earlier. Oh! You get a lot extra for a front row seat in Wrestling Evolution. Oh! Crowd asking for one more. Tim, I'm afraid. You should be. Yep. Oh! Dante Khalifa tasted defeat once before to Rayhan Antez in the finals of the Evolution Cup. That's why the Cream Pie Poppy is the number one contender to Don Furio's Wrestling Evolution Championship. I just want to go to him and help him. But you can't. No, You're I sitting can't. right here. Uh, but I want to. Just so you know, I want to. I, I understand. But you can't. Dante being slammed back into oh. the turnbuckle. I feel for this man. Yeah, the strength of Rayhan Antaeus taking control of this match. Sending him over into the other straight chest first into those into that top turnbuckle. Again, following up on those chops, driving the air out of Dante Khalifa. Well, if I could compliment the cream pie poppy here for a second, I just love his Digimon socks. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice those. Those are nice. Oh! A little elbow coming out of the corner there. Catching on Anteus as he charged in. Now, Dante, we see this uh, standard operating procedure for Dante Khalifa. Oh, Get yeah. the advantage oh, yeah. and isolate, isolate one body part. Smartest man in the room right there. Yep. That is what we've talked about that many times. The intelligence of Dante Khalifa. Trying, oh, he was trying to get him turned over into a, into a one leg Boston Crab. Working on the left leg of uh, Anteus. Dragging him around, dropping elbows right on that knee joint. That takes away the advantage of the much taller, larger opponent. Yeah, he's got him now. Dante knows he has well scouted Rayhan. He knows what he needs to do to break him down. Because if you can't stand, you can't win a wrestling game. Exactly. Exactly. Ooh! And there, oh, Ooh! Just a little too close to the ropes. Senior referee Josh Cash right on top of this. Oh, Rayon has got him, he's got him locked in a rear naked choke, but Dante's got his shoulders down. Nice, Dante was able to float over out of that rear naked choke. Drop the elbow right into the heart of Rayon Anteus. So in this match here, yes. you have the Evolution Cup tournament winner, who is the number one contender for the Wrestling Evolution Championship. Who cheated to get there. Hang on, hang on. We're not going to go into conspiracy theories. And on the other side, you have the Ascension contract winner, who that contract gives him a title shot at any point that he wants. So theoretically, Rayhan, the number one contender for the Wrestling Evolution Championship, could go on, defeat Don Furio, hold the title, and then Dante could cash in his Ascension contract, and, and then win. we could see this match again. And win. Because what's going to happen is just like here, he's going to break him down piece by piece, part by part, and he's going to get the job done. Kick out! Just like that. And he wasn't going so well for him right there. It, and it didn't go so well for him in the finals of the Evolution Cup. Ooh, he's got a sticky situation there. He does, yeah. Well, it's his take. He needs to clean up after this. Now sending, oh no, a reversal. Since Dante into the corner, he tried to go up and over, but he caught him, and he's a long way up there. Oh, but he slid off. Catching Rayhan with the sidekick. Oh! The elevation that it takes to get up there. Is he gonna do it? He's setting up for the Stankofa. Is he gonna do it? Rayhan's a tall order to get that done. And brings him over, tape included. Somebody needs to get that. 
That tape's pretty strong. Yeah. yeah. What is that flex tape? I think it's velvet. It's beautiful. Now both men trying to get their get their way to their feet. Uh -oh. Stare down. Get, yeah, progress. this is stare down right in the middle of the ring. He's talking crap. He's talking junk. Of course he is. That's what he does. Oh, that forearm shot took Dante down. These two trading forearm shots. Dante's got to stop that. Oh, oh, boot to the face will stop it. Big boot. Oh, and again, there's that headbutt. But we talked about this. Nobody wins in a headbutt. And these two trading chops again. And Dante trying to double chop. But right, Rayhan blocked it. Now he's got a full Nelson. I don't know. Full Nelson slam. And again, that tape is holding on. Oh, Rayhan's feeling it now. He's got Dante Khalifa reeling. But Dante blocked that one. Out right, again, we're jumping up into the rafters. Well, it's there. Oh! He just chopped him off of there. <laughs> oh! Are you okay? Oh, no, I know, my I know chest Dante's is burning. Not. I felt that. Kick out. Oh. Oh, Rayhan's going for. Rayhan's going for the, the Far three paws. Far enough. Oh, he's loaded up for the cream pie punch. Oh, but he caught, Dante caught him. He's got him in the Stankofa. And there, there it is. is. One, two, three. And Dante gets the victory over Rayhan Antea. Dante Khalifa. In this rematch, Dante gets the victory. So now it's one to one between Dante Khalifa and Rayhan Anteas. Congratulations to you, the Evolution Cup winner. Yeah, that doesn't change any of that. He's still the Evolution Cup winner, and he is the number one contender for the Wrestling Evolution Championship. And Dante still has the Ascension contract, clutching it to his chest. That gives him a title shot at any point against any champion. That was a tough contest right there. That was of course, and we knew it was gonna be. And earlier this afternoon, and this gives me great pleasure to say, earlier this afternoon, oh, wait a minute. Chief Django and Tommy Okami I don't know what they're doing out here. Rayhan does not like that they're out here. Oh! Wait a minute, Tommy Okami. Tommy is beating up a security guard. He's had enough. Good Lord, what? And Django sneaking in on Rayhan. He just took out his leg. And what are these two doing? Again, this, <laughs> this is ridiculous, I know. I, I mean, it's, it's stupid for me to keep saying it, but these guys need to stop. Come on. There's no reason for this. This is ridiculous. The actions of Tommy Okami and Chief Django, it's ridiculous. This is art. This is ridiculous. Art. Again. These attacks on different people, it's, it's got to stop. What, I mean, I don't know. Now, oh God, what is he doing? The chair set up right next to, to Rayhan. Oh, and he's got Ooh. an oatmeal cream pie. He's got a cream pie. He's got a <laughs> Oh, these guys, this is ridiculous. What are you talking about? 
these attacks. These attacks on people are uncalled for. It's, it's frankly ridiculous. Wait a minute. How many times have you went on because that man has shoved one of those cream pies down somebody's going? In a match is one thing, but these guys have been wreaking havoc on Wrestling Evolution for the last couple of months. Well, I they, say, how does it feel? They've threatened me. Are you okay with that? What, what, that no. This is ridiculous. The actions of Tommy Okami and Chief Django, they have gotten completely out of hand. They've left Rayhan Antaeus laying in the center of the ring. Ugh. I don't, I mean, I don't know what the point is for this attack on Rayhan. They left him laying. I don't know, maybe it was just a statement because he is the number one contender for the Wrestling Evolution Championship. He doesn't want help getting out of there. He's still standing tall after their attack, but it's ridiculous. And as I was saying before this all happened, earlier today you had a chance to talk to the OGs about next week's contest, the three stages of the Hell Tag Team match. At this time, I have been told to come and interview the OGs. Oh. Did you miss us? Yeah, Did you miss us? Going, Ivan? Guys, I got to tell you, look, the shenanigans got to stop. You're out of here as the most horrible announced team ever. Oh. You, Waylon Dowd. You, the natural Bob, whatever his name is. Uh, the then, line. then, 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 what is this, the buckaroos? Look, the shenanigans got to stop, folks. This is disinformation at its best. Hey, 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 hey. You know, World Mental Health Day just passed, so calm down. Yeah, we're going to need stress. you to, you're at like yeah. an eight. We need you you're to come down to like a two. <laughs> we have some important things to share with the audience. Yes, we do. And we would never shamelessly plug while we do this promo. <clears throat> this is it. Next week oh, yeah, on Aggression. Week. <laughs> it's what we've been working our whole entire careers for, and those those Wrestling Evolution Tag Team Championships. Mm-hmm. There's a lot on the line. It's not just the fact that it's three stages of hell. It's the fact that if we don't win, we can never team ever again. Don't worry, Keith. Don't worry. We got this. We got this in the bag. I ain't sweating nothing, baby. Right, Ivan? Uh, sure. Never mind. <sighs> Focus. Allens, <laughs> we're going to go to war tonight. And you're going to see a whole different side of the OGs. Mm -hmm. And when it's all said and done, you're looking at your next... Wrestling Evolution, Tag Team Champions. Oh, yeah. Oh, keep your seatbelts on. It's going to be a fun ride. All right, here comes the blue chipper, Chase Emery. Making his return to Wrestling Evolution oh. from Bowling Springs. Weighing in at 229 pounds. The Blue Chipper, Chase Emery. Such a goody, goody. Just like we talked about earlier when I had a chance to talk to uh, Chase earlier this afternoon, Chase has a history with the Legacy Championship. He was part of the first five-man elimination match to crown the first Legacy Champion. Unfortunately, he didn't pull it off that night. Myrick Moore was our first uh, Legacy Champion. But now, Chase Emery is back to try to get the championship off of Mason Allen. And his opponent coming to us from Allentown. And there he is, the undefeated, as I am often uh, instructed to say, the undefeated, never to be defeated, Mason Allen. Mason Allen making his way around the ring, trailed by Justin Kindred Allen. Well, here's something that I do know about Chase Emery, sir. The fella has wrestled throughout his high school career and his collegiate career. He has an incredible uh, amateur wrestling background. He's 
really well versed, and this is this is going to be another stiff test for Mason Allen to hold on to the Legacy Championship. Well, for his technical part, and I'm talking about Chase Emery here, I hope that Mason is ready. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's a that's a good point. Not that I'm doubting him, not that I'm doubting him because this is the limit. But somebody with the skill set of Chase Emery is gonna be a hard contest for Mason Allen. Ah, you missed. You missed. Cause you dodged. I know. I'm not even just gonna sit here. Oh no. Oh, come on. Yeah. These boys, these Allens are driving me crazy. They're not crazy. They're, they're stink. They're eccentric. Eccentric, yeah, that's a, that's a way eccentric. to put it. I don't know why they have a, an issue throwing their clothes into my face. Because they, they know that you'll keep it safe. Stink. They know that you will keep it safe. They smell like an industrial fire. Oh, no, they don't. In Allentown, it's, it's the cold. It's, it's, it's the, the melted line. steel. It's the melted steel. I don't know what goes on in Allentown. All right, Mason Allen and uh, Chase Emery. Look at that golden tan on Chase Emery. He is quite tan, sir. He's, he's a, practically glowing. Wow. These people are jacked up. Yep. And tying up in the center of the ring. Yeah, these two are, it's, again, this is going to be a great technical match. And you know, when it comes to technical skills, Chase Emery has to have a little bit of, of an advantage there. Oh. But, but Mason Allen I mean, has, has shown time and time again his resilience and his ability to hold on to that legacy championship. And there's always the wild card of Justin Kindred Allen outside the ring. Look, everybody knows it's not a wild card. He's the Joker. Oh, it's a wild card. The kid's nuts. And Chase Emery. Rolling through, reversing that uh, wrist lock on Allen. Building up that pressure on his shoulder. I'm getting worried. Well, you should be. I mean, it's really early in the match, but yeah, that's, I mean. Was Justin Kinder Allen just talking about somebody's mullet? Uh, I, I, I think, maybe. I mean, it takes one to know one, so he's qualified. Yeah, well. You don't need to be talking about anybody else. I mean, he's kind of pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was probably talking to Fuller. They're mullet bros. Mullet mania is running wild. That's right, yeah. There it is. Now, Mason Allen uh, uh, going out through the ropes to uh, – bro yeah. Just a, just a running string of, I guess you'd call it like a encouragement over there on the side. Oh, smoke. Mason rolling out, and here comes Justin. Did you see that? I did. He picked him up like he wasn't nothing. Uh, Allen catching Emery with a boot to the, to the stomach. You can't let up. You can't let up. Oh. You got to keep going. Right into the turnbuckle. Now Mason sending Chase over there into the ropes. But Chase, oh my God, come off those ropes with a big head of steam. Taking Allen off of his feet. Dude, you got to slow that bumblebee down. <laughs> That's not a bumblebee, man. That's like a, a honey badger. Well, whatever it is, you got to slow it down. Well, he kind of slowed down when he hit Mason and knocked him down. He slowed down a little bit. It did not. Did you see Mason when he hit him? Well, yeah, it's called inertia. Like, it's a transfer of energy. 
Let me get Stuart Sawgrass out here and we'll talk about it. No, he's into science. Ah, Chase Emery catching Mason again. Now, you were talking about being uh, worried earlier. I think that's a, a valid thing now. Emory in complete control of the legacy champion. But again, you have to watch Justin Kendrick Allen on the outside. Well, he's over there. He's not doing nothing. He's just holding the belt. Yet. Now, Allen getting a elbow up as Emory charged in. Oh my God, what a beautiful suplex. Over the head, belly to belly. Goody, goody. That was a beautiful suplex. Oh, here comes Emory. Little drop kick under the bottom rope. Oh, now he's after Justin. No, he's not. Well, yeah, he should be, but I'm just saying. Now, Allen thrown back in. You can see the welts uh, forming up on the, uh, the chest of Mason Allen. And Emory waiting. Oh, Mason's stumbling around. I think he's out. Mason is in trouble here. He's got to get out of this. Come on, Mason. Uh, Emory dropping him over. Oh, did he rake his eyes? Oh, dropped over the top rope. There you go. Yes, Mason did just cheat. No, no, Mason just cheated. Because he cheated. Hey, listen. Sorry. I know cheating. I'm sorry, cheating. sorry, 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 I folks. I'm having cheat. a side conversation with Justin Kendrick Allen about who is cheating here in this match as uh, Mason Allen cheats and chokes Chase Emery. Uh-oh, here comes Dan. See, here we go. There's uh, Justin Kendrick Allen paying his dividends. He's got a cast on his arm. That Mason, should be illegal. Mason's talking over with the referee there. Yeah. What did you, what'd you say? What? I said he's got a uh, cast on his wrist. That should be illegal. What? It's, it's a foreign object. To wear a cast ringside? Yes. He shouldn't even be out here. Who is he? What? Cowboy Bob Orton? That arm was broken for like three years. Now Emery back on the offense against Allen. Rushing in, but uh, Mason got out of the way. There's a cover. Oh, yeah, you, you can't do it like that. You can't do it like that. But get him, get him. You don't let up on him, man. Mason dragging uh, Emery back into the center of the ring. Ooh. I haven't seen this since like 1987. It's a classic. How you like that, Chase? Uh, a little extra being applied to the, uh, the nose and the eyes of Chase Emery on his camel clutch. <laughs> Ah, that's what you, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm not just into Knock it, man. Off. Oh, Emery no. standing up with Mason on his no. back. No. Back into the ropes. That breaks the, breaks that the, uh, hold there. Now Mason, oh, ooh, big double drop kick. Holy Into stunts. the back of Emery as he was hanging on the uh, turnbuckle. Now he's got the edge. And Mason needs to keep on him in it. We've seen this time after time. Like I said, Mason has never tasted defeat here in Wrestling Evolution. And we've seen this time after time after time. He gets the advantage and this is what he does. He just starts to wear his opponent down. And also talking junk the entire time. The mental attack that goes along with his physical attack. Oh no. Oh, but oh. Chase Emery firing back up on Mason Allen. Nice Insiguri. And Justin Kindred Allen looks shot. Nobody's home, kid. He looks absolutely shot. Emery trying to make his way to his feet. You gotta shake it off, man. Mason, you gotta shake it off. Mason Allen back in the turnbuckle, laying on the bottom turnbuckle. Chase Emery trying to make his way to his feet. Both men seemingly out. This is bad. This crowd's gonna get him jacked up, but he's gonna get back into it. 
He's going to build it up. You're saying he's going to Hulk up? No. I don't want to say that. Copyright oh. infringement. That big clothesline taking uh, Mason off of his feet again. And Chase Emery has the momentum here. And the Legacy Championship might be in trouble. He's nothing. Fall away slam by Emery. And like we said, the momentum is, momentum is completely in his corner. Waiting on Mason to get to his feet. Now here comes Emery. He's got him up on and here we go. Here's Justin Kendrick Allen up on the, well, wait a minute. Mason slipped around. He, there for a second he had a sleeper hold. Oh, nice power slam as Mason Sack came point. out of the corner. Oh. And we almost had a new legacy champion. It can be over that quick, Just Tim. Just that quick. A count of three is all it takes. Mason, Mason barreling out of that corner. Got caught with a power slam from Chase Emery. Oh. Mason, Crowd. shake this off, buddy. Crowd shake solidly this off. behind Chase Emery. Waiting on Allen. And again, and here comes Justin Kindred again up on the ring apron. Oh, but Emery's got him. No, no. The man's hurt for God's sakes. Well, then he needs to stay off the ring apron. And here comes Mason. Up onto the back of Emery. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. He's, He's sleep, going to sleep. He's sinking going to sleep. in that sleeper hold. Oh. And that thing is in there deep. And with Mason Allen's weight on the back of Chase Emery. He's slowly, oh, 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 oh. slowly choking the life out of Chase Emery. The lights are dimming on the Emery household. Allen with that sleeper hold sunk in. Emery seemingly out. Oh, nope. What? Uh, Emery making his way back to his feet. And here again with Justin. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Fuller stopping him, but Mason still has that. Oh! Emery was able to run, to move around to where Justin hit Mason, and he's got a cover. Oh! And Justin needs to thank the good Lord that Mason Allen kicked out because Mason would have killed him. Mason able to kick out. Emery waiting on Allen to come out of the corner, but he caught him in a double, double leg takedown, but he's got his feet up on the ropes. Allen had his feet up on the ropes. Here's your winner and still your legacy champion, Mason Allen. And again we see standard operating procedure in Allentown by hook or by crook, by any means necessary. They keep the championship in Allentown possession. By any means necessary, he pinned him one, two, three. With I his, watched the whole thing right here. With his feet on the ropes. What? After Justin Kindred Allen interfered. The referee didn't see it. Listen, we got it. We have video proof you can't fight this. This is there. But again, like I said, by hook or by crook, the Allens always keep the championship. And Mason was a little upset with uh, with Justin there. But Mason Allen retaining his legacy championship, and that's going to do it for this episode of Wrestling Evolution Aggression. We'll see you next time here from ringside.